Hello everyone, I am Alex Bivalsic from HowToDoTech.com and I'm going to show you how to download previously purchased apps to your iOS device. This process is basically the same whether you're on an iPod Touch, an iPhone, or an iPad. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the App Store. And then once here, make sure you're under Updates in the bottom right. See updates out of search, genius, top charts, and featured. Now we're going to go under purchased, which should show up right at the top. And then you're going to notice you have two options once you go under purchase. You can have not on this iPod, it will switch to iPad or iPhone, and then all. If you show all, whether you have the app on your iPod slash iPad or iPhone, or whether or not it will show it but chances are you're looking for an app you don't have currently so you want to select not on this device so once here you can just scroll through different apps that you've previously downloaded like say the locker gnome app and when you click it it'll bring you to the normal app info page and you can get the information and then the viewing history of it it will not show you the entire information such as the pictures and then full description but it will show you this basic information right here. They're guessing since you purchased it in the past, you don't need that. So now all you have to do is hit this little cloud square in the right, and then once here it will install. And you can see it's installing right there. So that is how to download a previously purchased app onto an iOS device. We really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like it comment and subscribe. If you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos, you can either leave those in a comment below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. If you'd like something to refer back to, click the link down below for a written tutorial on howtodotech.com and don't forget to go to howtodotech.com for more awesome tutorials like this one. I am Alex Bavalsic, and I will see you next time.